Tonight, folks who live in and around Hydro are suffering. Many are experiencing a stomach illness so bad, it's even sending some of them to the hospital. News Force Taylor Mitchell is in Hydro tonight with detail. The superintendent at Hydro Eakley Public Schools says they started seeing students sick back in mid-October and are still experiencing new cases of the stomach illness each day. He says the elementary school students are the ones who are mostly getting sick and some have even had to be hospitalized. So in our community, we've had uh, several individuals who have been seriously ill uh, with stomach illnesses. Bussy says the school is taking extra precautions to keep students safe. So we've really stepped up on our disinfecting and cleaning here at the school uh, just as a safeguard. Uh, yes, uh, water fountains are closed, um, contacted our emergency management agency, and as soon as I contacted them within an hour, they had bottled water here available for our students. One hydro mother is suffering from a very upset stomach and fever, and so is her toddler. She uses tap water in her baby's formula, and the water is one of the things health inspectors are looking into. And she got a really bad fever last night and was having the same stomach problems and got sick this morning again. Autumn Lynn says she knows of several people in town who are sick. One of my friends that I work with, her son actually just went to the hospital and tested positive for E. coli. The Oklahoma State Health Department tells News 4 it's not likely transmitted person to person. But right now, wastewater surveillance in our partnership with OU has led us to the water. We've seen a couple pathogens, so that calls for further investigation and testing. The health department is advising residents in Hydro to drink bottled water or boil their tap water while they investigate the mystery illness. In Hydro, Taylor Mitchell, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Taylor, thank you. Now, the Oklahoma State Health Department is asking anyone experiencing symptoms like vomiting, fever, muscle aches to avoid going out in public until those symptoms have been gone for at least 24 hours.